What is up YouTube world? You know who I am. So this is going to be a brief, quick video. But first, before I get started, I would like to say thank you to each and every one of you who take the time of day to listen to my videos, to support, to leave comments, your thoughts, send well wishes. That means a lot to me. Not to mention, a few of you have been sending super chats. And I appreciate that as well. The unfortunate part about that is once I comment, I can't go back and see the name. I would have loved to shout each and every one of you out. All of you guys overall been so supportive and so amazing. And I could not be more grateful to have this platform and some true, genuine people be a part of that. Now, let's get down to the nitty gritty. So, Mr. Ed had the nerves to post a video of a beautiful little Miss Amora. And he put her in a situation being so young and I know she's not gonna remember it. However, what she will remember is the man called Mr. LaTruth, real name Robert, being the bad person, the villain, being talked about 24 seven, being plotted on. When she goes to this man, that's why she's tense because all this tension has been built up and now I have to go to this bad person that I hear nothing but bad things about. He has the nerve to ask her, does she want to go with Robert? Who are you? You are not a stepdad. And even if you were a stepdad, how dare you do something so evil, twisted, sick, and degrading like that because you got called out on your stuff on a bigger platform. You're not mad at Miss Tasha K, but you had the nerve to try to flip it and pretend like you just all so upset at Mr. LaTruth. Now you got a green light on. Now you're going to be on 10. Now you're going to do this and do that. Boy, take several seats down somewhere. That man will probably hit you one time and knock you out. You're not about that life. We see that. We know that. Nothing about you seems tough. You don't have that. You can't play that role, sweetheart. Maybe you did in your little acting Wu-Tang series or whatever. But you're not about that life. We see you. You're a goofball. You're lame. You are overlooked. You are out of shape. You are pregnant. Since they want to say people jealous of Brie. Look at you. You are nine months pregnant, bro. It's a picture of you online holding a baby. And I will not post that. No face photo unless it's a family photo for privacy reasons only, bro. But you look pregnant in a blue shirt, y'all. Please go look at that. I better yet, I might just crop her out and post him there. Because he's a clown. He deserved to be put on blast. How dare you bring this man's daughter once again into your foolishness. It's bad enough you started it last night and you still continuously doing it today. And what does Miss Hampton do? Sit back and laugh and co-sign for you. You both are two idiots. That's what you are. And I'm so glad you're getting exposed and you're going to continue to get exposed because God don't like ugly. Like I've stated from the beginning, Miss Lyonia, he gave you a platform for a reason to make a difference, to build people up, to start change somewhere. He gave you a role of becoming a leader, being a part of something that could possibly be great. But you use that opportunity to manipulate, destroy, and mess up your credibility. The only people that's following behind you and believing your every word is some evil people. I come to terms with that. Anybody that's still following you, believing you, making excuse after excuse for every type of inappropriate behavior that you do. You not mothering your kids properly, allowing this man to come around. And do inappropriate things with your kids and they co-sign each and every one of them. They are just as sick and twisted as you are. They are silly. Everything they call us, that's them. Right is right, wrong is wrong. You should not be a super fan to the point where you following this person across the world. You believe everything they do, no matter what. No. You fan of somebody or not, if they do something wrong, they need to be held accountable for that. This man was caught up. And what does he do? The same thing Miss Lyona and her little followers been doing from the jump. Antagonizing this man. 
And every day, once in my mind, a thought come across, just imagining how he feels when he does go live and any and everything he do, everyone's critiquing it from the live commenting under it, making jokes. Everything he does has to be based off of Miss Lyona, whether he's eating or not. Not to mention they're screenshotting stuff, zooming in, then they're posting it on Miss Lyona's little fan club page. It doesn't stop. And now to add insult to injury, some things get exposed about Mr. Ed. And what does he do? The same thing Miss Lyona do instead of holding himself accountable for the actions he did, he deflects. And he put it all off on this man. And now we have even more people coming over there antagonizing him. How low can you breathe to bring a child into this drama and this foolishness? If you was a real man and you genuinely cared about these kids, you wouldn't go above and beyond to show some little playing scenes with them. You dancing on the car laughing with them. When do we see you take them to get a haircut or to the mall to get a pair of shoes? Or not being in a skit pretending to play basketball with the oldest son when he needed a haircut. The mom was fly walking with you, but he didn't have on decent clothes or new things like her. When are we going to see you do something real with the kids? Besides some spare a moment, goofy type, let's make a video to get Mr. LaTruth jealous. Nothing is genuine with you, sir. From your fake phony smile pretending to like Miss Lyona laughing at every picture messing it up. From your little tight water pants to your spreading hips, to your smile. Yes, shout out to Sweet My Live earlier. Guess what? You do look like a roach. Absolutely. And my mom agreed as well. You are a sick, twisted individual and you deserve whatever you have coming to you. You are young-minded and immature. For you to bring that sweet, innocent baby into this beef, it, I am livid. Children should be off limit when it comes to a beef with an adult. You are trying so hard to flip this whole situation so nobody is focusing on the big picture. And that is you're busted. You did this. You made your bed. You need to lie in it. Don't pull him in your bed, in your drama. Be a man for once. Stop being that little insecure little boy that you are that we all see when you get online. You were in the dark talking. If you was a real man and you had to address him, come on camera with your face. The only time you come on camera is when you lately for the past day is putting the kids on there, putting the little girl on there trying to be funny. Show your face when you shouting out him, sending a message directly to him like a man. Show us you bought that life. Don't sit in the dark. Actions speak louder than words. We have saw nothing from you but the bare minimum. You need to take several seats and keep that sweet, innocent child out of your drama. And Miss LaTruth, I done said enough about you today. I have no more words to explain the lowest scum of the earth that you are. You are some kind of mother. I am Ashley D, you guys. I hope each and every one of you are enjoying your day. I'll be speaking with you soon. Take care. Have a good one. Bye.